hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys is doing absolutely great today i want to share with you how to make this medical logo design into this let's check the intro Decography skills with creativity please consider subscribing to our youtube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos so without wasting much of our time guys let's dive into today's tutorial
Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon.
Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. Good day guys, welcome back to the Gravity Design Training. Uh, right now, the logo we just made on our PC lab, the medical logo. I want to show you right now you can present it on this particular mock-up. The mock-up is amazing but very technical to use. So I would like to show you how you can use it and how you can make your own design presentable on it. So without wasting much of our time, let's get started. Just go into your Chrome browser, type www.photopay.com, then you load it. After loading it, you should be able to see this particular interface if you don't know what to do just relax tap on this open from computer then you locate where you have your mock-up being saved just tap on it to import it to the uh, photo p website after you see this result after you display loading then you should be watching at the screen of your phone until when you are able to see the results the preview of the mock-up that is when you can go on with the editing if nothing was shown kindly endeavor to be patient a little while so that you can see the result and you can see this is the result what you need to do is to tap on the layer and you double click the design hide what was there then you go in just tap here you see after tapping here i tap the second one because it's displaying two ways so if you tap on this at the end of the day it won't do anything just tap on this second one redrand 2022 not logo.psd now go back to the layer and you hide that one too now click on the file click open and please click on file locate where you have your design be saved so for instance i'm going to my gallery locate where i have the png file then i'm going to import it after you import it one thing you are going to do is don't do anything there you understand don't do anything don't crop it because if you crop it if you make it enlarge this psd file doesn't crop your work automatically unlike other mock-up even if you increase the size of your mock-up i mean of your design on the layer on photo p with other mock-up it will automatically crop it for you to fit in on the layer but this the story is quite different from this particular mock-up as you lay your bed here yeah, so shall you sleep sleep on it whatever you input here that is the, how the output will come out i um, know i'm making grammar what i'm saying is the way you place it here that is how the result will come out i'm telling you with an experience so you have to don't just touch it immediately you bring import your design go with the file and you click save with smart objects after tapping on it be looking at the screen of your phone in no time the result will display and your logo will be transformed we don't need to do anything here you see automatically it will retain the color and everything will be plumb it's even having a golden texture which will make it okay but this is not really work with this particular color although it's shown but it's somehow blunt which i don't really like i will show you when the result display now when you see the smart object updated tap on this first one written here logo mockup underscore logo underscore mockup underscore w something which you can see the hand the first one then be looking at the screen of your phone in no time everything will transform you see how the result will display then you can go on if you still understand how to edit further you can go on edit to your own best of knowledge or to your own test before you can finally save the result look at the results as you can see then you click here go to 3d go to 3d efforts saying you can see the results in no time then this one is telling us to name just tag or, or, or put the name of the design maybe for instance the brand name medical plus if you want to edit it but i'm not edit, editing anything so now what i'm showing you just tap on this normal click on this off tap on the normal again then you go to let's look at the logo fx you see the logo fx uh you can see it logo fx or you go to let's look at this we tap on this i want us to see whether we can edit further or we tap on this you see the gradient fill 
logo fx you can see uh, we can hide anything in the inner shadow gradient overlay let's check if we hide it let's see how it's display then you can look at it after hiding the gradient overlay let's look at the result you can see the logo is very clean now and everything is awesome so this is just a simple and what i did is just i click on the fx logo which you can see then i go down to uh, uh, this gradient overlay just click on it and see what the result will be then you can see the result very clean you can return it if you don't want it then let's look at it after clicking on it when it display then you can look at it if you want it to be lighter more you tap on that and it's cool and if you want to just change this to uh let's say let's say lighting let's look at it after changing to lighting so it's somewhat okay like this very good or well, let's check let, let's change it to normal or darking darking should be okay uh yeah so now everything is actually plumb click on the file locate where you have export export as png then the result is done okay saved download let's view the results now yeah you look at it look at the results very cool and very clean thanks for watching i believe we'll learn something from here god bless you